Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 5 of our Let's Build series of the Roger Williams Park Zoo. I apologize for the delay in upload time, uh, not to dwell too much on my personal life lately, but basically I got a new job, so unfortunately it looks like episodes might be coming out kind of infrequently now. I will continue working on the series as long as everyone's patient, but uh, without further ado, let's get started. So today we're going to be focusing on the Audat exhibit. Uh, I'm not here with Lemur today, unfortunately, I'm just uh, doing this solo commentary. But uh, Audads are basically a species of uh, African goat, basically, that live high in the mountains of Africa. They're also sometimes called like the Barbary Sheep. And basically at the Roger Williams Park Zoo, we uh, used to have a whole family of them. I think now there's only one or two. Uh, usually two that I've I've seen there could be more but they're kind of uh, on the way out of the zoo to my knowledge based on like a few different um, sources I have about like their master plan and that sort of thing uh, unfortunately it looks like these guys are gonna <laughs> be on the way out soon but they have a really awesome exhibit that I really like it's like this kind of like mountainous rock formation and I don't know. I really wanted to build this one, so uh, sorry for the lack of a longer video. But if you're fine with these, like, kind of shorter, 15 to 20 minute long versions of episodes, uh, I'm glad to do them. So basically, what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of outlining the actual mountain structure based on some of the uh, height map data from Google or Google Earth, and just kind of outlining all the uh, hills and stuff and then I start blocking out the shed that the animals actually live in and this kind of works as both a maintenance shed as well as a indoor shelter for like the winter time and that sort of thing and it's not really a crazy intricate build this week but it is interesting because I got to play around with a lot of like rock work and foliage and uh, some of the different terrain textures and just in general a lot of height elevation which was interesting because uh, as you can see at the end of the video the Audads can actually completely uh, navigate this entire mountain area which is really cool uh, so right now I'm just basically laying down some kind of foundational aspects of this mountain so starting with some grass and then basically adding the rocky like cliffside face which will eventually be replaced with real rocks and then I'm also kind of cheating some of the elevation where on paper the animals are still able to actually climb up some of the areas that are like hills but because I made them uh, with the rock texture it kind of looks like they shouldn't be able to and it just kind of like helps that kind of uh, I'm not sure what you'd call it like just kind of idea that they're able to climb up that even though they shouldn't be able to. <laughs> And right now what I'm doing is I'm just laying down some preliminary rocks and as you can see I'm kind of making some artificial tweaks to the terrain so that they can actually make it up onto some of these higher peaks and stuff in the actual exhibit. And then I'm just going in with some of the bigger rocks and just kind of spraying them around the side to kind of get like this kind of like cliff shape. And then uh, I'm constantly referencing back to Google Earth from the aerial view to like see how the rocks are basically like um, creating a perimeter around these big rock formations and luckily for the most part the rocks are just kind of like really just uh, encasing all of these rocks like in a almost like rock fence around all these rocks and you can just basically just see me just placing them down this is another episode where just due to the lack of interest in like the build I basically sped it up three or uh, 16 times as fast as it normally would and so as you can see like the majority of this episode is pretty much spent making either rocks or placing down trees and since the last few episodes I've been doing that I wanted to like you know uh, save you guys from needing to see any redundancy and just get to the kind of meat of the build so I'm just going around and I'm kind of like using some of the bigger rock pieces to kind of hide the repetition in the actual rocks and just using rotation and that sort of thing, rotation and other forms of translation to just kind of make sure that even though I'm using one or two rock types that they all look kind of different. 
and then basically I'm just kind of outlining a path for the outads to actually navigate uh, to so I don't have the issues that I had with the cheetahs because I did eventually go back and fix the actual cheetah rocks so that they can actually walk around all of them organically and to avoid that issue with the outads I intentionally kind of designed this to work with it from the beginning so now I'm basically going around and starting the actual kind of guest area where you're able to view the out ads from. And I'm constantly looking back at the reference images that I took at the zoo as well as like Google images and that sort of thing to get some uh, solid reference for how the actual layout is. It's very similar to the cheetah and the zebra exhibits. It's pretty much just another gazebo that or an awning that lets you look out over the exhibits. Now, I do mess around with the pads a lot in this episode just because the pads are now getting kind of crazy where one path needs to connect to every other path and just by deleting one or modifying it slightly, it can affect the entire layout of the build. So it's been kind of a pain, but luckily, since I've now built a lot of the stuff from the zebra or the cheetah exhibits, I'm able to just copy and paste a lot of the elements for like the sides and fences and that sort of thing to build these kind of awning areas a lot quicker <laughs> unfortunately i think this is going to be pretty much the end of me being able to copy and paste anything though because after this uh we start our bigger exhibits like the elephants and the giraffes and that sort of thing and they're probably going to all need completely unique stuff since they don't really have these kind of like awnings or anything overlooking them but luckily for me, this was a pretty simple episode. Nothing too crazy advanced that was going to like be a pain, other than, like I said, that path system. So I'm going in again and just kind of hiding some of the uh, like area with foliage and uh, raising the elevation so that, from a guest perspective, you're not able to just see everything super clearly. And I'm just copying around a lot of trees and stuff that I've been using and sinking them into the ground. Same old, same old, nothing super crazy or anything. And now I'm just basically uh, starting to actually add trees to the back of the exhibit. So for the back of the exhibit, I wanted to make sure that they had some really tall trees that were blocking the lake area. Because in the actual like zoo, there's a lot of like really, really tall pine and oak trees that kind of block out the lake view from the back of this exhibit and unfortunately planet zoo's oak trees like i've mentioned in a few other episodes are really really abnormally short for some reason so basically i i forgot what the these are called per se i think they're kind of like alpine trees or something but i've just been kind of using them to kind of act as those really tall birch and pine trees and that sort of thing and what i'm also doing is i'm going in with the uh, glass fences, which I'll eventually replace with chain link fence, just so that I get those kind of organic curves that I can't normally get with chain link. And then I'm just kind of modifying the height and stuff so that it all checks out. I'm also adding in a lot of the smaller details like rocks and logs and other smaller trees just to kind of fill out the rest of the exhibit. And um, basically... I'm trying to think of like what I'm actually doing over here. It's nothing super advanced, it's just there's a little bit of rock work I think on the side where they use to um, hide some of the feeders later on. And I think I don't get to it immediately, but I eventually do get around to like adding those feeders and that sort of thing. Um, right here, I'm starting to add a lot of the logs in and a couple of smaller branches, as well as uh, some of the scratch posts and other smaller enrichment items that the outads use and I'm also kind of going back and doing a second pass at some of the more intricate rock work because the actual outad exhibit which uh, I'll pull up a picture here is pretty advanced with the actual rock work there's a lot of like smaller caves and I even think that they sometimes put like a mini waterfall in uh, p poking out of the mountainside so it's kind of interesting and what it actually looks like dur during like the different seasons right now during the winter it kind of looks very dead and uh desolate looking but i know in the summertime it's like really nice looking so right now <laughs> this is the really annoying part of the video which i spent way too long messing around with 
Uh, this uh, footage that you're seeing here was actually recorded during a live stream I did live with Lemur and a few of my other friends. And basically, I was just messing around with this path system to get the three paths uh, working together. Basically, the main path that'll lead you to the elephant enclosure, the uh, cheetah path, as well as the African crown crane slash elephant viewing area path. And they're all fighting with each other, and none of them want to connect to the maintenance door. <laughs> so I was really messing around with it. I eventually got around to doing it, but like it took way too long. And I had to change the orientation of the door and everything, and it messed with every other path. Really annoying, but I eventually did get to it. Now, basically what I'm doing here is I'm going in and just adding in more of those rocks and also changing up some of the elevation areas so that I can get kind of like cooler screenshots of like the outads like jumping up and down like the cliffs. Now... I should also mention that, for some reason I haven't brought this up, Owdads are not naturally in Planet Zoo, so this is going to be another one of those modded animal episodes, and we're probably going to be experiencing a few more of those in the next few episodes, which, uh, as I was stating before, due to my job and just the lack of a computer at easy access to me a lot of the time, these episodes might be a lot more spread out than I'd like, but I apologize. Hopefully they should be worth the wait, but expect a lot more modded animals in the next few weeks. Or I, I don't even want to promise weeks. It could be a few months before the next few episodes are out. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, they will come. But basically, there will be an African Crown Crane episode. There will be a Red River Hog episode. And then uh, the Elephant and Giraffe episodes should be kind of easier. <laughs> but... Hopefully they should all be worth the wait because I'm really passionate about this project and I think it's coming along really well right now. And I, as long as you guys are all enjoying it and giving me feedback, I've gotten a ton of new subscribers lately and I'm really thankful for all of you. And uh, I've also been getting a lot of like support for my mod work uh, on the uh, Nexus Workshop. So I want to thank all those people and I do want to get around to making more videos when I have the spare time. I do want to try and get a laptop or something of that sort so that I can start making more videos mobily. But um, as long as you guys are supporting me, that's all I care about. So right here, I'm going into Blender, and unlike the Watusi mod, this shows that like I've def definitely got a lot better at my workflow for Blender. Uh, as I stated, like I think in the last episode, I. I'm, I'm a Maya user myself, so I had to like kind of learn Blender, and this is one of the older versions of Blender that I'm not so used to, but I have a pretty good workflow with how to work with it and work for Planet Zoo mods now. So basically, I'm taking what I learned from the Watusi and just kind of applying it to the Outad. So I'm not merging any of the big seams on the horns, because I know that they're not going to be noticeable, and it's probably the easiest way to like get kind of nice looking horns without it looking like too messy and I'm basically using the sculpt tool to just kind of grab the different horns and uh, just kind of fix those into shape now here's an interesting technique that I learned from a, uh, NDP on the uh, planet zoo modding community now they use this technique for their woolly mammoth mod that I don't believe is out yet but they've been working on it for a while and it looks amazing Basically, they said to just use the eyelash uh, model or like polygon and just kind of paste it all over the model. And you can kind of fake fur to an extent. And if you just kind of copy and paste it a bunch, you can kind of like get this full fur texture. And I thought it would be great for the Owdad since that's pretty much a big part of their entire character is just uh, this long, long giant beard as well as their kind of interesting horn shape and past that they're just the doll sheep so it wasn't a lot of modification otherwise uh, other than the texture and basically what I'm doing here is I'm just deleting the fur shell now a lot of people will do a custom fur shell normally but for me I just find it easier to just delete the whole thing and uh, basically just get a, a nicer view but with that being said, that's pretty much the end of the episode. So now you can uh, take a look at what the actual uh, Owdads are looking like in-game. 
I do want to kind of fix them up before I release them publicly to the uh, Nexus, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. So here are the uh, shots, and uh, I will see you guys uh, for the next episode. So stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching.